Hello tree lovers! I will now tell you how to use the app Arboreal Forest. First choose the type of sample plot that you want to use. Either choose a circle plot or a belt inventory. You get the best result if you use the belt inventory, but you may be more familiar with a circular plot. Circular plots. Place out the center of the plot. You could see the distance to the border on the lower part of the screen. Walk to a tree, align the red lines to each side of the trunk and press the button. There are no lines on the screen if the phone has a LiDAR sensor. You only point the camera at the middle of the trunk and press the button. You could change the tree species by pressing the species button. If you miss a species in your region, please contact us. You could also change the species of the last tree you have measured by tapping the decal. If the estimate of the diameter is unreasonable, please undo the measurement and try again. The border of the sample plot gets visible when you get close. You could only see the last three decals, but if you try to measure a tree again, you will get a warning. Press the next arrow when you have measured all trees. You could either enter the average height manually or measure it in the app. The average tree is shown with a red decal, but you could choose to measure another tree with a similar diameter. Mark the tree, walk away from the tree and mark the base and the top of the tree. When you have heights for all the trees, you could, you could continue and you will then get a summary. Belt inventory. Place out the start point of the belt. You could rotate the direction of the belt on the lower part of the screen. Begin measure the diameter of the trees. You see the distance to the border on the lower part of the screen. It is easiest to walk along the red middle line and walk forward to the trees at each side of the line. After you have measured at least 20 trees, you could measure the heights. It is done in the same way as in the circular plots. If you have a very long line and don't want to go back to the red marked tree, it could be a good idea to measure a tree with a similar diameter and then save your steps. Pro advice. If you have a phone with LiDAR, you could use automatic measurements. Then you don't need to press the button to mark a tree. You could swipe on the last decal if you want to mark it as a damaged tree. In some of the Nordic countries, you have an automatic species detection. It detects the three most common species automatically. You could also access your measurements on our web platform and export them as a CSV. Good luck with your measurements!